What is going on, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Bug Snacks. Alright, now we're finally gonna go ahead and talk to Philbo here and continue on with the next part of the story. Wherever Philbo may be. Um, I'm assuming he's in his house sleeping. Philbo, wake up! Hi! Uh, I need your help. You do? With what? I think I know where Lizbird is. <gasps> really? Oh, buddy, say no more. I am there. Yeah. Uh, I'll explain on the way. All right. <sighs> this is a. <laughs> this is, this you're is a big the... mountain, huh? Ah. Oh, uh... oh, steps. Rump, I knew this was a bad idea. Oh, no, I'm fine, really. Oh, hey, you look just like my friend Agabel. <laughs> Agabel! Oh, it's really you! Oh, you're here, alive, and not dead! Yes, it's me, Philbo. Calm down, you you'll hyperventilate. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, okay, uh, yeah. Um, oh, are you coming back to Snacksburg? Come on, get up. Let's get this door open before altitude sickness kicks in. Oh, Agabel, it's so good to see you. I can't believe you've been up here all this time. You're so, uh, different. That's right. The soft little Agabel you knew is gone. Yeah, you really came out of your shell, huh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, so why do you want my help? I thought you would have asked Chandler. Chandler's got Snorpy to worry about. Besides, you've been following Liz around for years. What? I don't follow her around? Uh-huh. Point is, I know you care. And since I need three grumps, you might as well be one of them. All right. Whoa, what is that thing? Liz thought it might be some kind of ancient temple to bug snacks. Oh, uh... Wait a minute. If this door takes three of us to open, how would Lizbert get inside by herself? What makes you think she's behind it? Because she has to be. I looked everywhere else. Well, it, it definitely looks important. How do we, uh, get in? Right. We need to stand here, here, and here. On three, we push. This is it. Ready? One. Two, three. Whoa. Avalanche. Oh, Grump. I could have killed us all. What did I do wrong? Hey, hey, it's okay, Agabel. That was kind of scary, but we're fine. We'll just try it again and... No, I'll try it again. You two are going home. Egabel, I want to find Lizbert just as badly as you do. You don't have to do this alone. He's right, you yes, know. Yes, I do. I'm a burden to everybody around me. That's why she's gone. W what do you mean? I was being stupid, and I slipped up on the cliffs while I was trying to show off. The earthquake hit, and, and I was going to fall, but Liz saved me, like she always does. She got swept away... And then the ground opened beneath her, and it, it swallowed her up. I'm so sorry, Agabel. Don't be. I'm used to it. Please, just go. I can't stand to see anyone else hurt. <laughs> you know, when I was looking for Lisbert, I got really hungry. I, I couldn't catch bug snacks, so I tried eating this purple flower, but then I threw up. And then I went blind for a bit, and... Then I fell in a hole, and, and by the time I dragged myself out of there, I, I was so tired and hungry I could barely move. That's when we met, buddy. Philbo, th that's awful. <laughs> it was. Because, you know, I, I can't make it on my own like you and Lisbert. And it's times like those when I could really use a doctor. <laughs> All right. I get it. I need some time to think. I still want to 
figure out what I got wrong. When I do, I'll come find you. And then we'll find Liz together. Thank you, Philbo. Stay safe. All right. So, return to the Grubs to Snacksburg. Uh, 12 of 12? Okay. Conduct interviews, 12 of 12. I feel like I've, I've already done that. <laughs> but why is it just popping up now? Unless I'm supposed to interview Egabel, But it says I already got everyone interviewed. Alright, so... We've got all of the stories done. We have got... Uh, oh, all of the interviews done. And we got all of the side quests done? I don't... I don't think that's true. And then we still have a couple of, uh, we have requests to be done. So, uh, I guess, uh, return back to Snacksburg. And we go from there. So how's everybody doing? What's going on with everybody today? Are we uh, are we ready for another episode of Bug Snacks? I'll tell you this much: I know I'm ready for another episode of Bug Snacks. Thanks for the help. Oh, hey, thanks for giving me the uh, space I need and all, and well, for finding me in the first place. Even though I'm up here, I'm still thinking of all of you. Sometimes I look at the this picture to brighten uh, my day, and I hope it does the same for you. Egabel sent via Philbo. Hi, buddy. All right. Buddy, you're amazing. You even got Floofy and Shelda to come back. It's great to see Snacksburg so full of life again. You better believe I'm planning another big celebration. I feel like I should have gotten the Floofy and Shelda. I should have gotten those a while ago. What's up? Uh. Okay, so there's another celebration. And... Yeah, I guess, uh... I guess we just do the, uh, celebration. Uh, wherever Philbo may be. Oh, there he is. Everybody is back! Wow, it's getting crowded around here. I can't believe it. We gotta celebrate big time. Oh, you this know it. This party's gonna change everything, buddy. Are you sure you're ready? Once you start the party, you won't be able to catch bug snacks or complete quests. Be sure you've done everything you want before continuing. Confirm. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, no, I'm not ready yet. I want to try one more thing. Maybe if I rest? Let's sleep until 5 a.m.? Will there be more... Oh, yeah, look, there's more mail coming in. Ah, darling, you've discovered the secrets of the power nap. Oh, I hear all the biggest celebrities are doing micro-sleeps these days. And I myself am never awake for more than two hours at a time. Uh, I guess uh, I guess I just did a, uh, I guess an achievement or a uh, part in the game, do a short little nap. Okay, that's funny. Yeah, Philbo wants to talk to me. Okay, so Snorpy and Triffany. Okay, yeah, I'm glad I did that. So, let's find Snorby. He's got to be around here somewhere, unless he's still in bed. 
What you got, Snorp? Well met. How go the charts? We went after the wrong target. The mountain is now more active than ever. But the good news is I've isolated the source of this seismic activity. The bad news is it's on the frosted peak, and this time I've no idea what it might be. Be on your toes, chum. This one could get messy. <laughs> Our oh, cake boss, travel to the frosted peak. Mm. That right there just tells me that I'm about to go into a boss fight, and the boss is going to be a cake. But I think you're almost there, chum. You should see some flares along the way, though you may need help lighting them. Snorpy, why are you here? <laughs> it's the last place the Grumpanati would expect me to be. Outside. <laughs> and I'd hate to make you do such a dangerous mission alone. Daddy cake legs. Oh my gosh. All right. This is, yeah, this is going to be the fourth uh, bug snack. Here we are, at the source of the seismic readings. Oh and my gosh. Pause. Hmm. It's still a There's little a dark candle. in candle. Perhaps you should light that suspicious candle. <laughs> it's a candle. Oh my god. This is, I love it. I do. Um, come on. Let's go. That's it! The Grumpanati's secret weapon! Quickly the come and dispose of this devious dessert before it brings the mountain down on us! Uh, I'm not sure I know how to beat this. This behemoth doesn't like having its candles lit. Uh, flaming trip shot might do the trick. Okay. So, I feel like maybe... I just need to, uh... <laughs> Can I... melt everything to make it easier? No, he's just gonna light everything back up. So this one's an interesting uh, boss battle, I'll, I'll say. I feel like this is another one. I feel like it, it's maybe a little based on chance. Oh, nope, there we go. We got him. Leather cake has buggered off. Well, not to worry. According to my readings, it's still around here somewhere. You yeah, you go just find it and finish the job. First off, where are you going? Get back here. 
Recently cut from the cake, they seem to be seeking out their master. Okay, okay. Follow, uh, follow the cake slices. I've, you know, cake has never lied to me before. So I will always follow cake. No escape now, you cunning confection. Scoopy statue. Oh, you mean to tell me when I was looking for these damn bug snacks? I could have just scanned these statues the whole time. Alright, I'm a little mad about that. <laughs> Chilly nilly. Can I catch you? Oh my gosh, I caught baby cake legs. Baby cake legs. Oh my gosh. It reminds me of that episode of a uh, Rick and Morty, uh, baby legs and regular legs. Daddy Oh, interesting. So, the fire... Oh. The fire went out for a second. Yeah, see, so the fire went out. So, I can... I can relight it? Or it'll relight by itself? I wonder if I can just shoot it on the wall instead of having to shoot it on the, uh, the ice there. Got, ah, yes, got it. Chin up, chum. We've almost got it. We're getting there. Are you leading me back to uh, the rest of the cake? Like, is he an ice cream cake? All right, technically it's their birthday. <laughs> All right. Baby cake legs. Okay, so I did get the trip shot back. He's not back in his original place. Bring me back to the the big cake. Where is he? Uh -huh. I've got it in 
my sights. What ah, there we are. The cake. This seems like an odd spot for a final battle. I'm assuming it's like the other ones, three rounds. Oh. What's your pattern? Where are you going? Oh, you're... Oh! The seismic activity has ceased for the moment. He no, was not so bad. Weapon. That was a little lacking in subtlety. Who do the Grumpanati think they're fooling? I mean, honestly, what natural evolutionary process could possibly result in a birthday cake? But, no matter. Feed me the cake oh legs gosh. and we can leave this dreadful mountain. Alright. Gotcha. And we'll get rid of a baby cake legs. Are you sure? Yes. Gotta catch them all. I've done it. I am the poke. I mean, bug snacks master. Yes, I've caught every bug snack. Uh, now we just gotta feed you. Let's eat. We're going to feed you big old daddy cake legs. And, you know, it, it would be a shame if I didn't give you cake legs. A happy birthday indeed. Thanks to you, we saved the island. Wait, did now, he... Now, let's back to Snacksburg post-haste. My paws are about to freeze off. He got hair when I did that. All right, we're going to go back to Snacksburg. And then Triffany needed help with something. And I'm going to finish that up. Snoopy, and then... what the grump? You climbed up the mountain without me? Grumping, why? I, I, I wish I could tell you. Then tell me. I'm done playing games, dog. I could have died up there. And then what would I do, huh? I'm sorry, Chandlo. That was not cool. Just... I gotta chill out. You figure out when you're ready to talk to me. I... I know he hates being in the dark. And I hate leaving him there. I want to tell him everything, but... I don't want to lose him. If he knows, he'll be a target? Is that really it? No. No. The truth is, I don't think he'll believe me. But now it seems like I might lose him whether I tell him or not. So congratulations, Grumpy Naughty. You win. I am aware that Philbo wants to talk to me, but I just... I'm not ready to talk to Philbo yet because I feel like there's still a little bit more I can do. Oh, I got a ham radio! I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm more of a pineapple kind of guy. Pi uh, what about a ham and pineapple radio? That sounds... that sounds fantastic. A bacon radio would be good, too. I want to thank you for helping me to conquer the mountain, chum. I'm still doing my best to make it up to Chanlo. Meanwhile, you should find a radio with this letter. If you want to report on the moment, the movements of the Grumpanati or anything Chanlo's said about me, give me a call. Snorpy. <laughs> All right. It is 11.29 p.m. Let us... <laughs> and tomatoes. Let us sleep until 5 a.m. That's a good start to the day. And if I'm not mistaken, I can find Trivany because she's usually up for exploring. What's up? How are you doing? Also, I don't remember finding... I don't think I found... Yeah. Gave me this key. Seems to go with a mysterious box. Also, then right, then center, and after that... I didn't find, um, Egabel's mystery box. Maybe that's somewhere now? 
Uh, chum, I need your help with a matter of grave importance. Oh. You see, my seismic readings have been off the charts today, and I fear something terrible is happening just off the coast. Chandler and I are headed to Simmering Springs to investigate, and I'd be greatly reassured if you could join us. Uh, yeah, sure, let's go. Splendid. Meet us there whenever you get the chance. In the meantime, we have preparations to make. Chandler, ready the sunscreen. Oh, boy. Meet Snorpy at the Simmering Springs. Yeah, sure. Uh, I was, uh... I mean, I wasn't expecting Stormby to come up to me uh, for anything. I was just gonna look for, uh, I was gonna look for Triffany. All right. Foil shards. Alright, they gotta be around here somewhere, right? Okay, what's up? Oh yeah! I always wanted to have a beach party! Need me to sunscreen your back, Snorp Dog? <laughs> no, no, no need, Tandlo. I'm well protected. I can tolerate the horrible sun for at least a few minutes. You sure? I could check if you missed a spot. Oh, boy. <laughs> Best to keep our wits about us. This seismic event could happen any moment. Oh, oh, oh. oh boy. Bro, what was that? I don't know if this is another boss battle or not. An anomaly, to be sure. But it ended surprisingly quick. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa. It's a new island, dog! We gotta go over there! Uh, must we? Uh, um, yes, uh, of course. Uh, but, but surely this job is bigger than the three of us. We need to form a miniature expedition. A gathering of our finest scientific minds. Of course, that means Triffany and... Floofty. Ooh, get Shelter, too! Shelter? Well, she's hardly qualified. You said you want the finest minds, and Shelda's loaded with wisdom. Bam! Team assemble. Oh, I suppose she is an herbalist, and the closest thing we have to a doctor without Eggbell around. Very well. Tell Triffany, Floofty, and Shelda to come to the beach. Chandler and I will stay here to prepare a way across. Get hype! All right. Uh, I was not expecting that. <laughs> so let's go back. Let's go back to Snacksburg. And you know what? We can cut the episode just a little bit short today because I feel like that's a good place to leave off. And we can come back and check out that island in the next episode. So if you guys are enjoying the series, Chandler, you were just at the beach. How the hell did you get in front of me? Uh, if you guys are if you guys are excited for the next episode and if you're enjoying the series, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Till then, take it easy.